Hey, today I'm diving deep into the ultimate Mii iceberg. It will cover all the bases when it comes to Miis and their lifetime with Nintendo. The person who originally came up with the concept of this Mii iceberg has since deleted their Reddit account, but the post is still up, so I'll leave the link in the description. However, this video is not an exact retelling of the Mii iceberg, as I've fine-tuned it to contain the most interesting and relevant Mii content. I'm going to be using the terms me games and me centric games a lot throughout this video, so I want to specify what those terms mean. My definition of a me game is a game where the use of me's is required but not the main focus of the game, while a me centric game is a game that revolves around me's as the central characters and or mascots. So with all that out of the way, let's get into the video. Layer 1, the surface. What are me's? If you clicked on this video, you probably already know what a Mii is, but if you don't, well, then I feel bad for you, but in any case, let me catch you up. Mii's are Nintendo's avatars. They can be customized to resemble yourself, your friends, or really anything. Mii's made their debut on the Nintendo Wii console, but they have been implemented on every Nintendo console since. These avatars have taken on many roles, from participating in sports, in Wii Sports, fighting evil in Miitopia, to simply living life in games such as Tomodachi Life and Tomodachi Collection. Some nice things about Mii's is that they're not limited to just one game. You can use it across a range of Nintendo titles and consoles. What really sets Mii's apart from other avatars is their recognizability which is something Nintendo is very good at when it comes to character design. Well, usually. They struck the perfect balance between a variety of customization options and keeping the character simple and iconic. Whenever you see a Mii, you instantly know, yeah, that's a Mii. But each Mii looks different enough from each other to still stand out. A great example of this would be Matt from Wii Sports. Matt is an NPC from the game that gained infamy for being extremely difficult to defeat in boxing. He became very iconic and can be easily spotted in a crowd of other Mii's if you've seen him before. This balance seems to be something that no other game avatars have been able to replicate not even from Nintendo themselves. Mii Makers The Mii Maker menu provides a plethora of options and tools to customize your Miis. When you think of Mii Makers, the first image that probably comes to mind is the Wii or 3DS Mii Makers, and while those are the most popular, they're not the only ones. We have the unbelievably bland Nintendo Switch Mii Maker, the low-poly but still extremely charming Tomodachi Collection Mii Maker, and of course, the incredible, flawless Miitopia makeup counter, which might not actually count as a meme maker since you're not making them from scratch, but you might as well be because you can do just about anything on there. Tomodachi Life Tomodachi Life is a life sim game where you create Mii's to inhabit your island. As the island's caretaker, you're responsible for taking care of your Mii's needs. These can be relationships, food, sleep, clothing, and more. Each Mii has their own personality and preferences. You can give them gifts and food and they will have different reactions based on their traits. From love can Confessions, weddings, families, arguments, concerts, and photo shoots. There's always something going on with your Mii's. Miitopia. Miitopia is a lighthearted RPG where you and three other Mii party members are tasked to save the land of Miitopia from the evil Dark Lord who is stealing the faces of all the Mii's. The game has a heavy focus on building relationships between your Mii's. It originally came out for the 3DS in 2016 but got a re-release for the Switch in 2021, which added, among other things, the makeup counter, which is widely loved for its virtually unlimited customizability. There's also a demo for the game that allows full use of the makeup counter. Wii games. I would have to make a whole separate video on all the me and me featuring games on the Wii because there is a lot. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a video on that topic because I'd love to go more in depth on the subject, but since Mii's were the new thing at the time, everyone wanted an excuse to use them in their games. Mitomo. Miitomo was Nintendo's first ever smartphone game. It was somewhat similar to Tomodachi Life. You could create a Mii, give them outfits, rooms, take photos with them, and more. Although, like any mobile game, it was heavily monetized. It was also a social networking app, so, you know. Okay, people need to die. You're worse than Hitler and Trump. However, the game was shut down in 2018, most likely due to the dwindling player base. 3DS games. The 3DS had a few Mii games, but not nearly as many as the Wii. There were lots of games featuring Miis, but only 7 Mii games. Tomodachi Life, Miitopia, Pokemon Rumble World, AKB48 Plus Mii, and Pilot Wings Resort. There was also an application called Mii Street Pass Plaza, which might not count as a game, depending on who you ask. The gimmick was that it used local wireless to connect with nearby consoles so you could play mini games with their and your Mii's. It may not have had enough content to be considered a full game, however, it is still relevant, as most people who've owned a 3DS have probably played it due to the fact that it came pre-installed on every console. Tomodachi Life Regional Differences 
Tomodachi Life has lots of differences between the Japanese, European, American, and Korean versions of the game, including different foods, items, minigames, and clothing. Although a lot less has been documented about the Korean version of the game. YouTubers There are a lot of popular YouTubers who make or have made videos or series about me games, usually Tomodachi Life, like Dan TDM or Vine Sauce, for example. Modern Lack of Mii's in the early years of the Nintendo Switch, Miis were extremely neglected. We got no Miis-centric games, the Mii Maker was, and still is, hidden deep in the settings menu, and they were pretty much ignored entirely. Things have been looking up with the Miitopia re-release and the eventual inclusion of Miis on Switch Sports, however the future for Miis is still very uncertain, especially with the end of the Switch's lifespan coming up as soon as the next year. Who knows if Miis will even be on the next console? I don't think I'd even be able to buy a, a new Nintendo console if they didn't have Miis. It, it just wouldn't be right. Me Parade. Me Parade was a feature on the Wii's Me channel where you could send a me and just watch them walk. But for some reason, sending a me to the parade would erase all their data except their appearance and name. There was also an option called travel settings. When you turned it on, me's that were set to mingle, created by other Wii users, would be able to gather in your me parade at random. Horse. In the Nintendo Switch port of Miitopia, they added a horse, which can fight alongside your Miis in the game. It has a good amount of customization options, but nowhere near as many as the Miis. Layer 2, Sunlight Zone Tomodachi Collection Tomodachi Collection was the prequel to Tomodachi Life, and was never released outside of Japan. The game is very similar to Tomodachi Life, except with those beautifully compressed DS graphics and quite a few less features. There's a fan translation of the game, so it's definitely worth a play, but don't expect anything too different from Tomodachi Life. Mii Fighters Cut from Brawl In both Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and Super Smash Bros. 4, Miis are playable characters. However, they were originally considered for inclusion in Brawl, but were not implemented due to several concerns, one of which was bullying, which they were 100% correct about. Seriously, when I was researching Mii Fighters for this video, I saw more Mii slander than I've ever seen in my life, all compiled on like three Reddit threads. Not even slander against Mii Fighters specifically, but just throwing out insults at the idea of Mii's in general. Matt. The man, the legend, Matt from Wii Sports, arguably one of the most iconic Mii's. Matt is a CPU originating from Wii Sports. He is the only CPU to have championship status in more than one sport, and is known for being a difficult opponent. His meme status has greatly exaggerated his actual undefeatability, but let's not downplay this man's achievements. Nintendo Land Nintendo Land was a party game that came packaged with the Wii U, prominently featuring Miis. It had 12 mini-games all based on pre-existing Nintendo franchises, all presented as attractions at an amusement park. It was pretty much just a tech demo for the Wii U to show players what the console was capable of, but that doesn't mean the game wasn't good. Interestingly, in Tomodachi Life, sometimes if your Mii owns a Wii U, they can actually be heard playing Nintendo Land. Meme Miis I already touched on Matt from Wii Sports, but there are many more Miis that have been born from or have become memes. Some good examples that you may have seen would be Lonk, Princess Petch, Sans, or Peter Griffin. Ragged Outfits The Ragged Outfits are equipable items in Miitopia. The only way to get them is from the Roulette minigame. They're extremely weak and they serve essentially no purpose, unless you're a completionist. They're intentionally designed to be unappealing and are essentially the only way to really lose in Roulette. Find Me. Find Me was a minigame in the Mii Street Pass Plaza, where your Mii would be kidnapped and imprisoned, and you'd have to use the Miis of people you street passed or play coins to fight evil creatures and save your Mii. It also shares a lot of gameplay aspects with Miitopia, which makes me wonder if it served as inspiration for the game in any way. Tomodachi Life Deletion Screen Upon opening the save file deletion screen in Tomodachi Life, you'll see your Mii running in place in slow motion. It will ask you if you're sure you want to delete your save file, and after confirming yes about a dozen times, your me will yell out no, why, and begin to slowly fade further and further away until they disappear. As they fade away, there are several lines they can say, including, I hope we meet again someday, or, you may have deleted everything, but we still have lots of nice memories. Woohoo Loop Woohoo Loop or Woohoo Island Loop in the British version of the game is a track set on Woohoo Island in Mario Kart 7. It's one of the three Woohoo Island tracks, the other two of which are Maka Woohoo and Woohoo Town. Layer 3, Twilight Zone. Gay Marriage 
One would think that other life simulation games like The Sims would set a precedent that allowing same-sex relationships in games is the norm. However, Nintendo did not get the memo. Nintendo made the very questionable decision to not allow same-sex relationships in Tomodachi life. There was immediate backlash, and Nintendo made a statement saying they never intended to make any form of social commentary with the game. Which, of course, only made things worse. They soon retracted the statement and made a normal corporate apology, promising to include same-sex relationships in the next Tomodachi game, which they have yet to make. Tomodachi Life Dreams in Tomodachi Life, if you click the bubble that sometimes appears above your Mii's head while they're sleeping, you can see what they're dreaming about. These dreams are known for being weird and sometimes even a little creepy. Mii Body Inconsistencies Nintendo doesn't seem to have any rules when it comes to how the Mii's bodies look in games. Of course, their heads are always the same, but the Mii bodies are wildly inconsistent. Sometimes they'll even change in different scenes in the exact same game, like in Wii Sports. However, there are some patterns that games often follow. Mii's usually have spherical hands, simple, often cylindrical bodies, and an outfit that corresponds with their favorite color. However, these are definitely not rules, and there are exceptions for all of these commonalities. Mii's are also often portrayed without arms or legs, which may originate from their inspiration being Kokeshi dolls. The most glaringly different Mii bodies are definitely the Mii fighters from Smash. Now, in their debut in Smash 4, the Mii's are a little different than usual. They have slightly more proportional bodies and a full set of fingers, but in Smash Ultimate, they went completely off the rails. Okay, maybe that's a tiny exaggeration, but look at the Mii's in Ultimate compared to the Mii's in Miitopia for the same console. Due to the particular art style Smash Ultimate has, these Mii's bodies were far more realistic. They have almost completely human proportions, five fingers, detailed outfits and textures, and sometimes even detailed muscles, which is a little terrifying, but somehow kind of works in a campy fighting game like Smash. Miitopia is 18 plus in Russia. In Miitopia, your Mii's can have extremely wholesome and really only implied, albeit heavily, romantic relationships. However, gender is pretty much completely disregarded in these relationships, so your Mii's can be a, a little gay. And because of this, the game was slapped with a huge 18 plus rating in Russia. It's extremely comical seeing such a harsh rating on a Nintendo game, especially Miitopia of all things. It also makes me wonder how hard it is to actually get a physical copy of the game in Russia. I imagine they wouldn't be throwing them up on every shelf like any other Nintendo game, but if anyone knows, please comment down below. Space Trip In Tomodachi Life, when your Mii's happiness levels up, you have the option to give them, among other things, some pocket change. Once they get 10,000 euros or $10,000, they'll take a trip to outer space. Unfortunately, I do not know how much it costs in the Japanese or Korean versions of the game. They will also get to keep the spacesuit they wore during the trip, and it will be added to your item catalog in all of its available colors. Me Masks in Animal Crossing New Leaf and City Full, you could get a makeover at Shampoodles, which would give your character a me head. It looks a little out of place in the game at times, but it's also the only way to have any skin tone other than the default white. Unfortunately, this feature was not carried over to New Horizons. Famicom Mii's The idea for Mii's goes way back to the Famicom days. Seen here is a recording of the prototype that started it all. Definitely a far cry from the Mii's we know and love today, but still very interesting seeing how the idea first sprouted. Fourth Wall Breaks In Tomodachi Life and Tomodachi Collection, the Mii's break the fourth wall pretty much all the time. I mean, they address you, the player, whenever they talk. There pretty much is no fourth wall. It's charming and funny on the surface, but it is a little weird if you think about it too much. And I think the devs definitely knew that. There's a dream in the game where your Mii will be at a table and will open the window, which will display your front camera. If the game detects a face, your Mii will panic and cower, which is both a very cool utilization of the camera and also terrifying. Another one that really got me was in the apartment building. You can see inside your Mii's apartments before entering. But sometimes if there are two Mii's in love in the apartment, they'll just be hanging out, minding their own business, and then they'll look up directly at you, freak out, and then face away from each other, implying that the Mii's can see you watching them in their apartments before you even enter. Musical Mii Abortion. <laughs> This one really confused me at first, but it's referring to this video uploaded on YouTube featuring some Mii's performing an interesting song. Abortion. Genocide. Tomodachi Collection x Miitopia ad. This is an advertisement for Miitopia framed as a Mii news report from Tomodachi Life. Breaking news. Your Tomodachi Life friends can soon embark on a great adventure. The fantasy setting for their journey is a Nintendo 3DS game called... Miitopia. 
This young lad can transform into a cute cat. Adventure awaits your Tomodachi life friends in Metopia. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. The lyrics you entered could not be sung properly. This is a bug in Tomodachi life that can happen if you enter a single letter repeating over and over for the entire or most of a song. The interesting thing is that this error message doesn't appear before the song begins, like one would think, but rather after the Mies have already begun singing. There's not a lot of information on this bug online, so I can't be sure exactly how it works, but if you fiddle around with the lyrics enough, you should be able to avoid it and still achieve good enough results. My Nintendo Me Maker. Did you know that you don't even need to own a Nintendo console to make Miis? On Nintendo's official website, there's actually a rudimentary Me Maker. It's a little confusing to access though, so here's a guide. Go to MyNintendo.com on any smart device. Click your profile icon or sign in if you're not already. Go to Account Settings. Go to User Information and then click Edit Profile. Now, under the profile icon, click Edit Me. When I first discovered this feature, I assumed you would only be able to create one me for your profile image. But that is not the case. You can create as many me's as you want. Now, this is probably one of the worst ways to make me's. However, if it's all you got, it should do just fine. Keep in mind, the worst doesn't necessarily mean bad, because I really don't think Nintendo has ever made a truly bad me maker. This one is just limited by the fact that it has to be able to run on a browser. Reggie Me Mascot Costume In the Tomodachi Life Nintendo Direct that happened in 2014, there was a short skit using this mascot head of Reggie Fizume, former president of Nintendo of America. As far as I'm aware, this was Nintendo's only official use of the costume. However, Reggie did show off the head on Twitter while reminiscing about his time with Nintendo in 2019 when he was retiring. Official Shack Me for the US release of Tomodachi Life, Nintendo did a bizarre collaboration with a few seemingly random celebrities, one of which was Shaq. You could, and still can, scan their QR codes to get them in your game. They are special Mii's, which means they have preset personalities and voices and cannot be edited. The Dark Lord was a factory worker. The Dark Lord is the secondary villain in Miitopia. After you free him from the Dark Curse, he mentions that he used to work in an HP banana factory, but he was unsatisfied with his job there. Dying Happy. Dying Happy is a Tomodachi Life creepypasta. Now, I'm no expert, but this is pretty standard mediocre creepypasta stuff. You know, scary entity from a game's old save file does spooky stuff and makes people kill themselves. It's really nothing of note. Flower AI The flower job in Miitopia is known for having terrible AI. It allegedly uses moves in seemingly random and unhelpful ways. I haven't really observed this much myself, but I also never played with the flower much, so I easily could have missed it. Tomodachi Life and Miitopia are in the same universe. I can't find much or really any discussion around this topic online, but it's not hard to decipher what the theory is. The games do have very different environments, but I suppose that could just mean they take place in different locations or time periods. Do you think this theory is true? Let me know in the comments. The Miis know they're in a game. In Tomodachi Life, your Miis reference the fact that they're in a video game fairly often, saying things like, you like this game too, right? Or, more unsettlingly, what happens to us if the save data gets erased? The game basically doesn't have a fourth wall, so lines like this aren't really out of place at all. Another interesting thing is that if you give a Mii a 3DS, you can sometimes see them playing Tomodachi Life. Yeah, not really sure how that works. Tomodachi Quest Tomodachi Quest is an RPG-style minigame that you can play at the carnival at certain times of day in Tomodachi Life. You play as four randomly selected Mii's from your island and fight off random items and foods as enemy. It's also theorized to be an inspiration for Miitopia as the concepts are rather similar. Mii's can cheat in Tomodachi Collection and the Japanese version of Tomodachi Life, Mii's can accept a date from another Mii while they're still in a relationship with someone else. I'm not sure how it works in Tomodachi Life, but in Tomodachi Collection, the Mii who accepts the date will start a new relationship while the original partner will become single and depressed. Since we never see the original couple breaking up, we don't know if they did so before or after the new relationship started, so it may or may not be real cheating, but the implications are still there. Layer 4, Midnight Zone. 
Rock, Paper, Scissors is useless. In Metopia, the Rock, Paper, Scissors minigame is known for being kind of lame. There are two minigames you can play with game tickets, Roulette and Rock, Paper, Scissors. In Rock, Paper, Scissors, if you win, the only reward you can get is gold, while in Roulette, you always get a reward and it's usually more valuable. Actual Size of Mies it's pretty apparent that the Miis are relatively small, at least in Tomodachi life. For example, there are parts of the game where you can see the player's hand, and with this reference, it looks like a Miis head is just a bit larger than a human hand. However, they're often depicted as a lot smaller in other places, like in some Mii news reports. Matt is God. Matt from Wii Sports is God is a joke slash meme referencing how extremely difficult he is to defeat in Wii Sports boxing, seemingly impossible to some. Bunny suit. The bunny suit is an item that is exclusive to the Japanese version of Tomodachi Life. This item was removed in international releases, most likely due to its sexual implications. However, it's not known if it was included in the Korean version of the game due to how undocumented it is. Tomodachi Switch version There has always been speculation and rumors around the idea of a Tomodachi game or ports for previous games for the Nintendo Switch. Nowadays, even whatever new console may come after the Switch. If you want the latest news on Tomodachi Life sequel speculation, I'd recommend you check out Kawaii Beth channel, link in the description, as they're always up to date on the latest theories and information. Mies can be gay? So you know how earlier I mentioned the lack of same-sex relationships in Tomodachi life? Well, there are two interesting exceptions. This topic was rather hard to research because of the language barrier, but in the original Japanese release of Tomodachi Life, there was a supposed bug that allowed same-sex relationships. All of the posts and articles I read about this bug were in Japanese, so some of the information may have been lost in translation. But this is everything I could gather about the glitch. It would only occur with male Miis, and it seems the game would sometimes bug out and not allow you to save if the Miis tried having a child together. There is no solid information on how the bug was triggered. In fact, I'm not entirely convinced this bug ever actually existed. As much discussion as there was around it, I can't find a single piece of proof of it actually occurring. One post I read said it was only Miis imported from the original Tomodachi collection the bug would occur with. However, they were the only person who mentioned this, so who knows. If that was the case, then it might explain how little information there was, as the bug would have been more difficult to encounter. I was going to try to trigger the bug myself to figure this out once and for all, but I couldn't find a ROM for the original unpatched version of the game. Hey, so I actually recorded this audio a while ago, but since then I was able to get the original release version of Tomodachi Life, but I still haven't been able to trigger the bug. I haven't done like a like a thorough search or anything, so I, I don't know. It could still uh, exist. Also, another thing that I found out is you can actually uh, brute force your Miis into a gay relationship with a save editor, but if you try to open Mii Homes, the game will crash, so uh, that's something worth mentioning, I guess. There are screenshots, however, they are fakeable, quite easily at that. Now you may be asking, how could someone fake this? That brings us to the second topic of this entry. When creating a me in Tomodachi life, you have the option to make them male or female. However, it does not affect the clothing, voices, hair, or accessories they can have. So if you want to make a gay me, you can just make them the opposite of their intended gender without any significant effect on their appearance or presentation. Of course, this isn't a perfect workaround as the me will frequently be misgendered and if they are male, won't be able to go shirtless. As you can see in this image claiming to display the bug, one of the me's is clearly wearing a towel over his chest while the other is not, meaning that the me in this screenshot is technically female, making it fake. I find it extremely hard to believe that all of these rumors just came from nothing, but at the same time, how is it possible that there's absolutely no evidence of this bug at all? If anyone has any leads or information as to whether or not this bug is real, please contact me, either in the comments or on my Tumblr, as I think this topic is worth a video of its own. Me Ritual This entry refers to a Reddit post displaying this image, captioned, Me Shrine, Me Ritual, Mies, please come back. Now, there's a lot to take in here. As you can see, they've designed and printed out several logos for different Mii game sequels, as well as other Mii-related images. They also have Nintendo consoles and console accessories, toilet paper rolls, plushies, AR cards, sports objects, presumably to represent Wii Sports, some amiibo figures, and some tissues? All these things arranged in a manner as to direct the Mii energy towards the Nintendo Switch in the center. Now, I can't prove that this ritual works, however, we did end up getting a Miitopia port, so that has to count for something. This legendary user's account has unfortunately been deleted, but the post is still up, so I'll leave a link in the description. Karatomo 
Keratomo is a set of custom servers compatible with Mitomo that allows the game to be played in the modern day. I was originally going to test the service for this video, however with an iPhone I would have to jailbreak it to be able to use it. Okay, uh, interrupting again, uh, as you could probably gather from my video sprites, I was able to get Kiritomo running on an Android emulator on my PC. Some stuff doesn't work, but that's expected. The most important thing is that the game is up and playable. Also, just want to give a huge shout out to the Kira team for creating such an amazing service. Uh, anyways, back to the video. Matt in Smash. In the background of the Woohoo Island stage in Smash Ultimate, you can see Matt from Wii Sports. Not much to say here, just a cool little easter egg. Enka. In the original Japanese release of Tomodachi Light, your Miis could learn and perform an Enka song. Enka is a music genre that isn't very well known or listened to in the West, and therefore was removed from the game in international releases. Layer 5. The Abyss. The Alice War. On Nintendo's Mii-themed social networking app, Mitomo, there was a Mii named Alice that was being posted all over the app. The best way I could describe it was like a meme or copypasta of sorts. According to the Cringe Trolls and Satire wiki, a trustworthy source, I'm sure, the original Alice Mii was made by a user called Disorder Doll, and was actually named Doll before being renamed to Alice and modified slightly by some unknown user. However, it's impossible to prove whether or not this is actually the Mii's origin. In fact, a lot of people state otherwise. I mean, there isn't really a reason to believe this theory over any others except for the fact that it's on this very dubious wiki article. A lot of people loved Alice, but just as many people hated her, and were tired of seeing her everywhere. I think Alice and Mitomo culture in general is an interesting enough topic for a video on its own, so let me know if you're interested in seeing that. We no ma. We no Ma, which translates to We Room, was a Japan exclusive Wii channel that launched in May of 2009. Wii Room had a variety of services, including TV streaming, online shopping, and even a messaging system. They even had some original shows, as well as sponsored content. You could add up to 8 Mii's into this literal Wii Room. The Mii's could hang out and do things like reading, vacuuming, eating, or playing on their DS's. Pointing at different parts of the room with the Wiimote would take you to different menus and services. The most interesting thing to me was the shopping aspect, particularly these Mii stamps they sold exclusively on the channel. You could, at one point, buy custom stamps with your Mii's face and name on them. I cannot possibly explain how much I love these stamps. They even had this adorable video for them. I would kill to own one of these, I'm not exaggerating. However, unfortunately, Wii Room was shut down in April of 2012. Me Police Sketch Okay, so this one is a little weird. The story is that the Japanese police used this me to identify a criminal, as shown on this wanted poster. However, this is likely not the whole story. Thomas GameDocs made an amazing video on this curious story, so please watch their video if you're interested in the details. Link in the description. AKB48 plus me. AKB48 plus me is a somewhat obscure Japan-only 3DS game where your Mii joins the idol group AKB48 and performs with them. It's notable because every single character in the game is a Mii. It's a pretty basic rhythm game, however, I still think it's worth a play for any Mii enthusiast. There's no English translation of the game, however, it's pretty simple, so understanding the language is not really necessary. Unused Piano Item This entry is referring to some unused piano music in Tomodachi Life that people theorized was for an unused piano item. However, there is no proof of this being the case. No Age Barrier in Tomodachi Collection and the Japanese version of Tomodachi Life, a child and adult me could date and even marry. I don't think I need to explain why this was changed. Bald Mii's can use hair dye. In Tomodachi Life, Mii's who are bald can use the hair dye item. All it does is dye their eyebrows. Personal Trainer Walking Personal Trainer Walking is one of only five games on the original DS to utilize Mii's. I was actually able to get my hands on a copy of this game for the video. Even though, let's be honest, I just wanted to play it myself. These little game manuals are, are just so cool, I love them. Yeah, there he is. Hell yeah, we get 
again. <laughs> Look at that. Incredible. The game is simple but very charming, and it has a really fun soundtrack. It may look like shovelware at first glance, but I don't think that's the case. If you like the vibe of Wii Fit, you'll probably like this game. In the month or so that I've had it, I've actually found myself way more motivated to exercise. It does work, at least for me. In Miitopia, you can chop enemies into food. It's heavily implied that in Miitopia, when you defeat certain enemies, you literally chop them up into food. For example, when you defeat the goblin enemy, you get an item called goblin ham as a reward. It's clearly the same color as the goblin enemy, and, you know, goblin ham. So, yes, your Mies are actually dismembering and eating their enemies. Sparing an enemy leaves someone without a face. In Miitopia, Mies with the kind personality type have a chance of sparing an enemy, which will make them flee the battle. This sort of implies that whoever the monster got their face from will just never get it back. Kuruma de DS. Kuruma de DS, which roughly translates to DS in the car, is a very obscure game for the DS, released exclusively in Japan in 2012. Very little is known about the game due to its reliance on GPS making it impossible to emulate, even on an R4 cartridge, but it's notable for its heavy use of Miis. If you're interested in this game, I've provided a link to a playlist I've compiled of videos of and about the game in the description, although unfortunately the list is very short because there's hardly any information on this game. Aidyosuke's Healthy Mahjong DSi Aidyosuke's Healthy Mahjong DSi is the only DSiWare game to include Miis. Other than the use of Miis, this game isn't really that notable. It's quite literally just Mahjong, but for the DS. And for anyone who doesn't know, Mahjong is a 4-player tile-based strategy game originating from, but not exclusive, to China. Tomodachi Life Fashion Catalog this unique item was a Club Nintendo reward that costed 50 points and was exclusive to Japan. It's a little on the smaller size at 17 by 18 centimeters or approximately 7 by 7 inches. There are about 80 pages that include 24 different meme models wearing a variety of outfits from the game. The last two pages contain QR codes for all the models that appeared throughout the book. They're special Miis and have preset personalities, names, and voices that cannot be edited. Tomodachi Life already has really cool clothing, but that combined with the fun characters and nicely designed pages just makes this catalog so awesome, as well as it just being an interesting piece of Mii history. If you want photos of each page individually, I posted them all on my Tumblr under the Mii Trivia and Artifacts tag. And that's the end of this iceberg. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. This is pretty much my first ever full-length YouTube video. I mean, I've been making animation memes for years, but that's completely different. And I've never talked this much in a video before either, so it's totally new territory for me. But I definitely want to make more videos like this, especially about memes. So let me know what kind of topics you want to see from me, and maybe I'll make a video about them next. And since I'm a small channel, I can read all the comments, so I won't miss any submissions. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and have an amazing rest of your day.